Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to some more Battletech. I'm gonna be real, I'm not sure I'm ready to take on that two skull contract. I'm very, very nervous to do that. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. I don't know what to do. I hope that it's not gonna be that big a deal. Uh, but we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to take it yet, though. I'm still a little nervous, like I said. For now, uh, before we worry about contracts, let's go into our mech warriors and see if we can spend some experience points for them. Um, Mathis, for instance, still has not much he can spend, unfortunately. Uh, though I'd really like him to go up that tactics tree. Decker orders. is good for now. 3,100 on glitch. We're gonna keep, I'm gonna keep pushing her up this gunnery tree. Uh, so we need to hold out a little bit longer before she can get her next pip. And Behemoth has 3,100 and needs 3,600 as well. Behemoth and Glitch seem to get to go into every mission no matter what. Uh, whether that's good or bad is up to you. Um, the other thing we should do is where we're at right now, if we swing over to navigation, take a look at the star map, uh, where we are, is mining, agricultural, Terran, heavy gravity, medium gravity, periphery, civilization, agriculture, aquaculture, mining. Um, I was going to see if we can maybe buy something while we're here. We can still look at the store. We don't need to, we don't, still don't need any new mech warriors. But if we look at the store, if there's anything worth picking up, we should do it. Um, specifically weapons like this. This plus plus, it's very, very good. So it's very expensive though, but picking up a plus plus ace uh, auto cannon is something we can replace one of our other auto cannons with that'll do more damage. So this is plus 10 damage and plus 10 stability damage. Um, it's a stand, it's a standard range. This is a shredder auto cannon as opposed to just a regular auto cannon, I guess. Sniper auto cannon. So the shredder, I'm assuming, compared to the sniper, is just its range. Yeah, extreme range. Uh. The king of the battlefield to hit harder than any other weapon. However, this comes at the expense of weight, range, and severely limited ammunition like all auto cannon weaponry. AC-20 suffer from recoil. You know, I still think we buy it. Ooh, a flamethrower as well, huh? Why don't we go ahead and just grab this for now? New weapon systems. Okay. Head to our mech bay and see who's running right now an auto cannon. We might actually slap it on this guy. We might put it on the Shadowhawk. Our Vindicator is fine. That's our Sniper. And she has a Sniper Auto Cannon on there, doesn't she? She doesn't. If we wanted to refit one onto her, we'll, do we have the hard points for it? We have a lasers over here. A small laser here, which goes on that. We do have a hard point here. It's a support though. It looks like she can't actually have a sniper on on her mech, unfortunately. Which is fine, that doesn't bother me too much. Um, actually. I'm gonna move the ammo off of the torso. As people have pointed out, having the ammo on the torso is bad. So why don't we put it on What's our best armored piece of equipment here? Maybe our legs? Can I add, uh, they are not available. I wanna put the ammo there and that there is what I meant. So if I move the ammo into the legs, I don't really know where the best place to put ammo is. Um, actually, you know what? Keeping ammo all in one leg. So here's the thing, right? If we put all the ammo on one leg, if that leg goes, we'll still have the other leg to work with. Whereas if they critical strike our legs, I don't know. I think we'll just do it like that. It's going to take a little bit of money and a little bit of time. Just like and no. a couple of days, more or less. And then the AC-20. I wonder if we can put the AC-20 on... No, I don't want to put it on the spider. Thought I heard something. I don't think I want to put it on the spider. You have two AC-2s, which are snipers, right? Extreme. 
I could replace it. Because we have medium lasers anyway. So if we knock out this and put the AC 20 in there, it's gonna it's gonna redistribute a bunch of stuff, unfortunately. Do we have AC 20 ammo? We do. I'd have to put it here. I still need the AC2 ammo for this. What if I remove a laser off of them? Not really all that much of a difference. This thing is ridiculously heavy. Maybe we'll just hold on to it for now. Maybe we'll just hold on to the AC20 for now then. All right, contracts. Uh, so first strike. Travel to Weldry to carry out the first major operation against the Directorate. We'll brief mo you more fully when you arrive. Um, everything's two skull, actually. And we might as well take the two skull that's gonna hit us with the fucking 1.7 million dollars. Welcome to the big leagues, Commander. After we pull the trigger on this one, everything is gonna change. For us, for Lady Rano, for the whole Oregon Reach. Alright, let's just, let's travel there. Your command. We might as well. It's gonna be 32 days, but... We might as well. Work on the Centurion is complete. It's a hell of a long ride. We can just do it now, I guess. All right. All work, uh, all orders are, all work orders are done. Sweet. We're just jumping. We have a lot of jumps to make. Man, we are jumping like crazy right now. No wonder it's taking us so long. Whoomp. All right, can I just skip this? I can't. All right. And we're finally off. I would imagine that would make me very sick. <laughs> Whoa, they don't like us. I've got the financial report. All right, thank you. We'll keep it at normal. Um, let's see. A hated reputation. This faction deeply distrusts you and works with you only grudgingly. Only You receive 50% less payment for contracts and pay a 50% markup in shops. Oh, that's nasty. I don't like that very much. Not much I can do about it, though. We had no events pop while we were traveling. All right. We arrived at Weldry, Commander Ready to Proceed. Not yet. I want to save it real quick because that was a long travel and I don't want to have to do that again in case uh, I lose and I, everybody dies. Um, if we go to the mech bay, the Centurion is done. And I don't know if I want to take the Centurion out now. I'm thinking we don't because I don't want to risk it yet. I don't want to risk taking out a mech I'm not familiar with on a mission that's as important as this one. So I'm thinking what we need to do is just do this mission with what we're comfortable with and what we know. And uh, make that work. Well, gee, one of the most notorious hellholes in the Regan Reach. Everything about this place is hostile to human life. For the past three years, Espinosa has used it as a dumping ground for his political enemies. The Directorate has a prison complex on the planet's surface. The inmates call it the Icebox. The image of you impo of an imposing structure appears on your view screen. It has the solid, heavy walls that you'd come to associate with the Torian architecture. It's a holding facility for political prisoners, including high-value hostages, members of the founding families, spouses, sons, and daughters. If we liberate the prison and set them free, we break Espinosa's leverage over the founding houses. The political map will change overnight. Ooh, that sounds fun. We don't know what the Directorate has been doing to our people in there, but we have to set them free. Not just for our political gain, but because they're our people, and we need your help to do it. Uh, aren't the founding lords and ladies supposed to power be powerless figureheads? 
There are no, there are different kinds of power, Mathis. The founding houses may be anemic in terms of martial strength, but their words still carry weight in the Eurekan reach. If they rally behind us, the people who love them will follow. Governments have been toppled with less. I need to know what I'm about to send my lance into. What makes Weldry so unhospitable? Everything from the sub-zero climate to the in inedible vegetation. The whole planet is infested with blood-sucking insects. The swarms can stretch for miles. You're shitting me. I'm afraid not. They're called Branson's mosquitoes. Imagine a colonial biting fly the size of your thumb. They're s they serve as carriers for harmful bacteria. And you're dropping infantry in there? On purpose? The army will be safe. Population centers like the icebox use ultrasonics to keep the swarms at bay. But I thank you for your concern. You've got an army. What do you need us for? Subtle, decisive action. I will lead the army in an all-out assault on the Directorate's primary spaceport. After I've drawn their attention, you will sneak in, attack the icebox, and liberate it. We'll set up my uncle's hostages free and put the founding families in our debt. All in one fell swoop. Uh, alright. In my experience, operations of this scale rarely go according to plan. I know, Mathis. And that is the, one of the major reasons why I need you on this drop. You adapted to the chaos of the battlefield on Cormordir. I'll be counting on you to do the same here. I'll remain on radio contact and with you after we hit the ground. Good hunting, Mathis. Give my uncle's troops the help they've earned. After the Directorate presence on the planet has been crushed and the icebox has been liberated, we'll regroup to celebrate our victory. All right. Here we go. Mathis and the quick draw is going to stick. I think we're just going to stick with this loadout and we're just going to roll in. Let's go. Mech warriors. Pre -pre Pre -pre I'm excited. Let's see what a two. Let's see what a two skull mission is really like. We know what a one and a half skull is. So what's an extra half of a skull? We'll see. Fight your way to the icebox prison camp. Destroy all directorate forces. Liberate the icebox from directorate control. This is it. Our first strike against Uncle's directorate. Our first step toward justice. While I lead the Restoration Army against Weldy's primary spaceport, you will launch a sneak attack against the icebox and liberate it. I know that you can do this, Mathis. We, we can do this together. Hard to believe uh, we're going to war against the Directorate. All right, let's do it. Command interface. Oh, we already got initiated. dropped off, apparently. There are two entrances into the complex, Commander. Intel says that each is defended by a series of elevated turrets. I'm also seeing an LRM emplacement between the two checkpoints. Battle mech defenses should be practically nil as predicted. Lady Arano's preemptive strike has already drawn the prison's standard garrison away. I'm seeing heavy vehicles and turrets on my screen, nothing you can't handle. Clear away the opposition and capture the prison. Lady Arano and the Restoration Army will take care of the rest. Good hunting, Commander. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and save it. And uh, let's roll. So we've already got a couple of buildings here. And then we got two turret generators, which we can maybe swoop up on receiving you I'd like to try at least uh, if we can get do a jumping attack that would be good we got a bunch of turret generators here here and here and the prison gate so um why don't we have Mathis and the quick draw swing out this way of the behemoth swing out here and I'll glitch follow Mathis for range support. I'm gonna see if I can split them up and maybe we can swing around and meet in the middle. But I wanna hit this as best I can. Alright, so Decker. Ready for orders. We're gonna have you start jumping and hopefully making this work. Now this is sub-zero temperatures, which is hopefully good for heat. And um we'll have you jump as well. A little bit nervous having Mathis kind of swing out here, but we'll do what we got to. I read you, Commander. All right, Moving there they out. go. We might play it very, very cautiously here. Decker What's first. Up, nice, easy view. And we're going to go ahead and just blast the hell out of this thing. Target acquired. Okay. One down. Yes, Commander. Up. Here we go. Enemy contact. I've got a sensor trace. 
We're still just gonna blast the hell out of this, though. Firing. Wasn't quite enough. I think that might be what I, uh, a turret or a vehicle. We're gonna hold out and see, though. Okay, still no visual. Yes, Commander. Orders. We're gonna have you do it again. Oh no. We'll hold off on the ammo usage real quick. On. Just gonna keep on uh, pecking away at it with lasers. Standing by. No, Decker. Commander. Four Get lasers. Let's go. Okay. Target destroyed. Easy enough. So that actually wiped that out. Behemoth is fine. I'm gonna Good have to Decker go. wait and cool down. Roger that. Digging in. Same with you. Mathis, I'm gonna have you move up slowly. Okay, we've already got enemy contact on two tanks. So we might want to hold off then. We'll move them up, but we're, we're gonna, might want to just swing out here and see if we can get a sensor lock on these. Hot damn. All right, they're gonna go now. They're gonna actually have turns. Waiting for orders. What if we go here? Can I get a sensor lock on them? Lifting off. This is the warden. We have an intruder alert. All right. All combat units, prepare to repel hostile. All right, here we go. What's up, boss? All right, we'll have her walk over here in the Shadow Hawk. I'm just trying to get visual on this. If I can take out these, we're, we can take out a bunch of turrets. But I have no visuals. I hear ya. And Mathis has no visual on him. The closest we can get to a visual is here. Why don't I reserve their her turn and move her and wait for them to do some maneuvering? Good to go. Just a little bit up into the trees. The prison gates are on either side are gonna be your best point of entry in the complex. Blow them down and make your way inside or jump the walls if your lance is capable of it. Your call. Alright, let's, uh, you first. Engaging target. Okay. Down he goes. Enemy unit destroyed. Oof. Oof, he's got a... He did a... Warning. Wow! Alright, Mathis actually took a hit. That's rough. Waiting on you, Commander. Very, very, very rough. Move up. Coordinates received. Bulldog, which is nasty. Laser and missiles. AC, 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 AC. Yeah, this has got to go. Why don't we multi-target? Hit whatever we can. At B. That's it. All right, fire. Line them up and I'll shoot them down, Commander. Trying to do a little damage to the bulldog, at least. Wow, that didn't go down. All right. Okay. Eh, not bad. Pecked away at some of our armor, but I'm more worried about Mathis than anybody right now. They've got a sensor lock on me. All right. Okay. That's why the turrets have to go down, man. Waiting for orders. All right. Can I get her in a position where she can still hit? 
At least two of those. I copy. They're saying I copy. They're not saying I poppy. More bandits incoming. Like I thought they were. I feel stupid. Taking the shot. Well, I feel silly now that that's what I know they're saying. For some reason I thought she said I poppy. Now. I'm so dumb. Receiving you. Okay, moving up. Firing. We missed the second shot. <laughs> what can I do for you? Of course we did. Of course we did. All right, we have visuals on that and that. And it has 100 health. All right, this is going to be a multi-target, I think. Damn it, maybe not. Elrond's an A, this got B. You get a headshot and you get a headshot. All right, one down. That took out that turret, which is nice. And we can halfway kill this one. Annoying, but still not too bad. I'd really like to take him out. I should move, though. From one tree to another tree line where we can build up some evasion at least. The bulldog. Or the sniper tart. Well, the sniper tart's gonna go. So why don't we multi target? And then we'll hit the bulldog as B. A only needs to get hit once, as far as I'm concerned. Engaging multiple targets. Boom. Beautiful. Because that thing had some nasty weaponry. And a little bit of revenge for doing what he did to me. We have plus, we have max morale now, which is great. Nice little bonus. Okay. I've been sensor locked. Annoying, but again, not a big deal. Commander. Keep moving. Heading out. We might want to stabilize soon. Everything on this one. Ah, really? One less target. One less target? Did it blow up? Why is this? Did it die? Is it dead? Alright, her ar armor is being completely taken down on the right hand side. And we really need to pay attention to that. Waiting for orders. Yeah, it's dead. Wait, wait, wait. Turret generator, and then the other turret generator, which we can't hit. So let's be a little bit cautious. We don't need to hit it too hard. We'll shoot three lasers at it and that should be enough. Here, I'll, I'll remove one of the 75s. Firing on target. There we go. More tarts down. Fresh real estate available. Hey, oh. It's free real estate. Waiting on you, Commander. Um. 
Nice little On my way. angle. How much life is left on that sucker? Well, why don't we do multi-target, multi-target, multi-target. Uh, A is going to go down the most is what I'm looking for right now. 100. Unlikely to do any uh, damage, but we want... I want to try and peck at C a little bit. Uh -huh. So we'll do one of each. We'll just spread the damage. We gotta be careful now. Something's exposed. I'm taking internal damage. Our right arm, probably. Let's try and take out the last generator. At least the last generator that we could see up front. That was the last of the turrets, hopefully. Target building destroyed. Okay, now we just got vehicles. Good, hit us from the left side. That's fine. I'll take left side hits all day. You got nothing, you hear me? I hear you. Alright, Behemoth, what are you Ready currently order. hurting on? Leg and arm of your right side, I guess. So now I want to make sure you only got the left side to work with. Location confirmed. Okay, she's backing up. I don't know what just happened. She shook really hard. Did they just called shot my leg? Reporting internal damage. Yeah, man. What can I do for you? What's up, boss? I'm gonna pop him right in front. Affirmative. Target confirmed. We, okay, I was gonna say that didn't kill him. We just unloaded on him. Reporting, one less vehicle. The bulldog needs to go next. I hear ya. It's gonna Moving stomp out. on him. Ugh. I think I like I put too much importance on the turrets, and it ended up biting me a bit. Bye -bye. I should have one of the mechs maybe focusing on the generators. He's gonna try and go around me. Yeah. Oh, he's going for the rear. That's fine. I thought he was gonna try and peck away at this. Over here. We have another. That's the gate. Gate, gate, gate. All right. Here, just stomp on it. On the move. Gaging. Vehicle trash. All right. And I guess we're completely out of initiative now. I copy. Uh huh. Acknowledge. Everybody, move. On my way. Got it. Engaging target. Good 
good to go. Gate breached, almost. Target buildings destroyed. Good stuff. Whoa. Whoa, what Move the fuck? Did you see that? The thing just glitched out big time. Alright, uh, Decker first. Yes, Commander. Aye, aye. We'll keep the behemoth slightly behind. Excellent work, Commander. The prisoner is ours. All director personnel to actions. God damn it, this is not a drill. Looks like we got more company. I'm seeing heat signatures coming online in the prison mech bay. The warden must have held a lance in reserve. Of course. Sit tight, Commander. Lady Arano is aware of the situation. Reinforcements are on the way. Oh, we have reinforcements. All right, let's go. If only it was gonna be that easy. Enemy that looks like a fast little mech. Ooh. The Jenner. All right. If it's by itself, we can do some work. Oh, it gets to go first. It's jumping and what? Running away, <laughs> I guess. Standing by. Uh, okay. Get him in sights. There he is. I could possibly just drop a sensor lock on him. He's super hurt, so let's go actually and burn his evasion. Got a lock. And uh, move up. All right, we got another one. Oop. Unloading hardcore on the blackjack. Not bad. Good to go. Waiting for order. I think I'd rather have a glitch. You bet and we might be able to just hit him. I'm not going to call shot him. I feel like that's a pointless a uh, attack. So let's just fire uh -huh. what we've got. Boom. Okay. Commander. I'm, I'm a little nervous. Honestly, we might just fire from here. No. All right, let's move her up a little bit. Enough. So the Lance, it's the last one. A couple of misses, which was good. We'll start doing called shots after afterward, but for now we're good where we are. There we go. Laser crit. It's, it's not... Yeah, it's not looking so good. This thing is taking a beating, though. For the Oregon people! Whoa! That's... What are you shooting at? Oh, she's coming in from the back in her Kentaro! Alright, well, now they gotta deal with her. She's not on our, our, our initiative, but still. You don't have much left, man. All right. Good to go. Um. Got it. We still did not do enough to kill this thing. I figured it would go down, but no. Allied turn. Hell yes. Here she comes. We have to make sure she survives, though. Jesus Christ, man. Start beating it senseless, why don't you? Oh, God. Oh. Okay. Yeah, two skulls is nasty. Two skulls is nasty. Waiting for order. Um... 
We're going to move her up a little bit, maybe make her a little juicier of a target. What if we do a called shot on him, go for his legs with everything? Here we go. Wasn't enough. The trebuchet, they're ignoring her completely, which fucking stresses me out a little bit. Because she could be good to, to take some shots. Okay, right arm destroyed. Uh, we need to chill. I need to, I need to burn a turn on him. Yikes. Lasers are fine. Waiting for orders. If I move you up, what if I just called strike on him, also the leg, that we could rip out an arm, knocking it down would be ideal, unless we just don't hit it at all? Jaeger mech, that thing is scary looking. All right, we got an exposed structures. Mathis has to, unfortunately, or is it? Yeah, no, Mathis is fine. I thought he wasn't. No called shots available. Let's see if we can take out the Jenner. Goodbye. One down. That brings us down to three. All right, she's get, she gets to go, thank God. Hopefully she can do a good chunk of damage here. Unsteady. Standing by. Yeah, let's, let's maybe try and knock this guy over. Roger. Fire with everything we've got with hopes of maybe knocking him over or ending him. Giving him everything I've got. God, it was close. Decker Great might forward. be. I can't with Decker. Glitch has to go. Yeah. Go for the knock over. That's going to knock him over. There he goes. Goodbye. Pilot injured, I think, twice on that one hit. Waiting I am going to use morale and vigilance him. Move him up in the initiative, completely make him okay. We only can hit two from here? So why don't we called shot this guy and try and blow off his torso. There we go. There we go. Hostile removed. All right, good. Two, two down. I think we can do this. This Jaeger mech scares the fucking balls off of me though. I don't know what he's shooting at. The Vindicator, totally fine, acceptable. You're fine. Multi-targeting. Okay. Good. Let her hit the let him hit the Kintaro a bit. I could use it. Yeah, I see you. Let's move up to here. Uh, he's almost down too, though, the trebuchet. But. All weapons committed. Ooh, we hit the AC arm ammo. Or gun, rather. I don't know if it's going to matter, though, because we didn't hit the ammo. 
Okay, Trebuchet's moving. Oof. God, we're gonna walk away from this one pretty fucking hurt. Unsteady now. Okay. Commander. Yeah, we're down a laser. Can I actually hit from here? No, we should move. On it. Got to keep the blackjack up front. Engaging. Oh, <laughs> you missed a fucking 85% chance to hit. Oh, that's a problem. All right, hopefully she does something good here. Good. Where is the trebuchet moving to now? Backing away. Oh boy. Armor breach. Internal damage. Yeah, we gotta make you we gotta pull you away, I think. Good, we needed that miss on the blackjack real bad. And the more they can focus on her, the better. We can just punch him in the face. Let's do it. Moving out. Right in your face, Shadowhawk. Uh, uh, left arm and torso destroyed. And knocked him over. And the pilot got incapacitated. That's so good. Good to go. I want to move you away and just have you further away Upon from it. Way. Though the trebuchet indicates it's all long range now that I think about it, and I should probably look. Long range, long range, and medium range. Yep, that was a mistake, but that's okay. Here we go. So the closer we get, the probably the least the less effective it becomes. So let's do that. We will not overheat if we unload everything. All weapons committed. Nice, nice. Arm and torso of the of the right hand side gone, and he's unsteady. Hopefully, she'll be able to finish him off. Is she going for a punch? Yes. You missed. Oh come on, come on, girl. Do better. Be better. Where are you going? You going for a rear shot on the on Kamiya? No, you're just running for your fucking life. Well, now I have a back shot on you. Which is always phenomenal. Oh, not quite. Commander? can only hit long-range missiles, and I can just do it from here, so might as well. Receiving you. And then Decker. Good Let's go burn. jump. Better repositioning. Acknowledged. All right, no more arms on this thing, which is nice. Me putting my character in the quick draw has been a really good move for the quick draw. Decker's much better off as something that can maneuver a little bit further. Here, I'll turn off short range missiles of one of them. Left torso destroyed. Pilot injured again. Now she gets to go. She's backing up, I'm assuming, just gonna punch him in the back. This thing is not gonna have anything worth salvaging, unfortunately. There he goes. Jesus Christ. The prison is ours, thanks to the assist, Lady Arano. I'll have Sumire bring us down for the victory celebration. 
There will be no celebrating, not after what I saw out there. Gods, Darius, the things the director has done to these people. Kamiya, I need you to meet me in the prison hospital right now. What is it? Better than better that you see for yourself. And Kamiya, prepare yourself. This isn't going to be easy. Mission successful. All right. I wonder what the hell they is in the prison. Okay, we did it. We got Arano restoration up. The Oregon director not so good. Um, our mercenary rankings going up, and we made a butt ton of money. We walked away a little hurt on that one. Mathis is going to be out for nearly a month, but that's all right. We have four items. Can we take the Jaeger? We can. I think we do that. I think we take the Jaeger. And I think I take a piece of the trebuchet. And then everything else can be randomized. Looks good to me. Hell yes. We actually made, uh, we actually walked away with a new, a new mech chassis completely for us to play with, which is phenomenal. Maya, do you hear that? Daddy's got new toys. Yeah, good girl. Cutscene. By time. the time our forces found him, it was too late. I'm sorry, Kamea. He was here all this time. <gasps> he was here. He's not dead. Or at least he was not dead. So they captured and just tortured him for three years. What are you doing? Hey, stop it. Okay, crazy cat. Maya, you're fine. The Urano Restoration, the ox bo Icebox Weldry. Kamiya, I'm so sorry. I know how much Mastiff meant to you. He was a friend and a mentor to us both. He was more than that. The old man was like a second father to me, and my uncle condemned him to waste away on this rock, to die wretched and broken in agony. I knew Sir Raju longer than either of you. I'll avenge him. I promise you that. We'll avenge him together. There's no coming back from what I've witnessed here today. What they've done here is monstrous. It's inhuman. Our intel was wrong, Alexander. The icebox is in a prison. It's a meat grinder. Gods, my own family is behind this. And what's left of mine has chosen to look the other way. It is an easy... It isn't an easy thing to wrap your head around, but try to remain focused. We've just liberated the Directorate's hostages. With a single blow, you've shattered your uncle's hold in the founding houses. The prisoners you've set free already calling you the Sword of Restoration. We need to spread this message all the way to Cormadir to galvanize your supporters and weaken Espinista's popularity there. Uh, Galvanize your supporters. I like the sound of that. It won't be an easy process. For the last three years, those who love House Arano have been keeping their own heads down. We won't break them out of that overnight. In truth, an appreciable percentage of Karomadir's Kuro population supports Director Espinisa. In centralizing power, he improved the quality of life on the throne world considerably, and people will forgive a great deal for security and comfort. Within our victory on Weldry, we've all seen what happens to those who would not be bought or indoctrined. Those who refuse to kneel before a tyrant. We know that, be uh, God, the I don't know what it is about this text that makes it hard for me to read. We know what became of the, the people who were made to disappear. And soon enough, the entire Reach will know, too. The momentum is on our side, Kamiya. We need to take advantage of it. You're right. This isn't the time for hand-wringing, but Alexander, you didn't, seem, you didn't see what I saw out there on the other end of the battlefield. The work crews all hunched and broken. The graveyards, great fields of unmarked burial plots that stretch as far as the eye can see. Every time I blink, I see it. The misery that was allowed to fester here. Uh, I can picture it well enough. I saw my fair share of human misery when I was freelancing on the frontier. I'm sure you did, but that was the lawless frontier before my uncle's coup. Well, it was part of the Oregon Coalition. We were better than this. This place is going to stay with these people for the rest of their lives. I'd do anything to be able to spare them that hurt, but I can't. Word of advice from an old veteran, Lady Arano. Focus on something you can do. Give us an order. Tell us to blow something up. Shit, use your imagination. The key is, you do something, and you move on. 
Thank you, Chief Vertanen. You have a good crew, Mathis. I have a new assignment for you and a reward for your service. The Argo appears on your view screen. She's in rough shape, but she appears to be spaceworthy. For decades, the wreck site of the Argo was one of my father's most closely held secrets. When I sent you to retrieve her, I meant for her to serve as a symbolic purpose, a sign of rebirth and renewal, emblazoned with the Arano com uh, Cormorant for all to see. I was naive. This is a time for action, not symbols. And so, Mathis, I have decided that she will be yours to command. Oh, hell yeah, new ship already! The Argo will serve as your new home, and she will fly your mercenary banner. Lord Madeira will join you to act as my liaison. And in return, you will grow stronger, sharper, more flexible. You will hone your company to a razor edge, one that I will hold to the director's throat. In that case, congratulations! You've got yourself a navy. Or, sounds good to me, Lady Arano. We'll transition the Argo directly. Guess I've got a new ship. Here's hoping she doesn't fall apart on me. Um, I like the first one. And if, if, if that's settled, then please, Camille, go back to the triage tent and get those wounded looked at. The conditions here are beyond unsanitary, and you'll be of no use to anyone if you're dying of tetanus. Our soldiers can tend to the wounded. We need you strong for the fight ahead. I will, Alexander, but not just yet. Assemble our people in the courtyard. There's something that I need to say. All right. Sweet. Damn. People of the Oregon Reach, I am Kamea Arano, and I have failed you. For three long years, Director Espinosa has imprisoned and starved and murdered our people. And where was I? Hiding in a palace, light years away, building support, planning. While the Directorate's secret police turned neighbor against neighbor, made your loved ones disappear, conscripted your children. I wasn't here. I didn't know. The crimes that I have witnessed here today are unforgivable. No doubt, Director Espinosa believes that the ends justify the means, that the Oregon Reach has been made strong. Well, I say that strength built on fear is brittle. The Directorate is a paper tiger, and I declare this restoration today to rally the true strength of our people, our resilience, and our freedom. Let Weldry be a call to arms. Join us, and together we will liberate the Founding Houses and retake Cormadir. Not because it is my birthright, but because the Directorate's crimes against you, the Oregon people, will no longer be tolerated. That is what I fight for, and I vow to fight for your freedoms to my dying breath. ship will travel. Hello again, my mercenary friends. Before you officially take position of the Argo, uh, possession of the Argo, I wanted to introduce myself in person. We never really got a chance to meet properly in Exilis. So, uh, hi, I'm Dr. Farad Murad. Farah Murad. Or just Farah. Oh, Farah. Dr. F Farah Murad. Uh, if you prefer. It's nice to meet you. All face to face and such. Yeah, Doc, meet you too. I'm gonna call you Doc, by the way. You should probably go ahead and get used to it. It was impressive work you did getting the Argo flying. Between you and me, I had my doubts. Honestly, I did too. You should have seen what the Argo interior looked like after a couple hundred years of pirate occupation. Actually, I take that back. If you'd seen what I saw, you would never have wanted to set foot inside. Take it from me. The ship has been uh, deloused from bow to stern, and every meter of her has been hosed down with industrial-grade disinfectant. The ship is clean enough to eat off of, I swear it. Um... Clean is good, space worthy is better, you sure the Argo is ready for action? Oh, absolutely. I mean, she's here, isn't she? All the way from Lyriton, with a Naria decompression event in sight. Don't worry, Commander. I wouldn't endanger my new crewmates by putting them on an unsafe ship. I've got professional standards to maintain. Uh, new crewmates, do you know something we don't? Did Lady Rana not say? I'm coming with you. You'll need me if anything goes wrong with the ship. Not that it will, mind you, but, you know, just in case. Oh, and Darius... I'm sorry about all the shouting back in Exilis. As it turns out, getting shot at by pirates puts, puts me on edge. No hard feelings? None at all. 
keep this beast flying. You can yell at me as much as you want. Hell, I'm used to it. Welcome to the family. You too, L uh, Lord Madeira. I never imagined we'd be working together, but I'm glad to have the opportunity. As am I, Mr. Oliveira. Over the years of our exile, Lady Irano told me a great deal about you and your company. All of it good. Even before the events of the coup, she knew about Markham's marauders. Your assistance in her father's Fjalder campaign did not go unnoticed. It was a job, Lord Madeira. We only did what High Lord Tamidi paid us to do. Still, feels good to be appreciated and to know that someone out there still remembers Commander Markham's name. The Madeira family name has always been synonymous with wisdom and prosperity. I'm pleased to have you aboard, Alexander. We're in World Periphery Ancestry. I appreciate the welcome, Commander Martin, but I'm not sure my family name stands for much of anything anymore. With luck and as your assistance, perhaps one day I will redeem it. Now, the Restoration's next move will be Liberation of Panzer, but we don't we won't be ready to launch another attack until we've replaced the losses we incurred on Weldry. You'll have time to break the Argo in before Lady Arano requests your service. You have a mobile command center worthy of the title, and the freedom to pursue whatever mercenary work you like. I suggest you put that to good use. I'll get you a fresh batch of contracts. Look over, Mike. The whole Rim World periphery is our oyster now. We won't be limited to debts or travel restrictions. We don't have debts anymore? Alright. Exciting times, I've got to say. Exciting doesn't begin to describe it. Our debt doesn't rule us anymore. For a company like ours, that's everything. Amen to that. Hey, great. We're on the same page. Wonderful. So, shouldn't we go aboard our new ship? There's an absolutely enormous mech bay in there with my name and I'm getting irate that I'm not standing in it yet. You heard the man. Take your stations, everyone. We're free agents till Lady Irano calls for us, and there's money to be made. The Argo is not in good shape, Commander. But with time, money, and some of the Chief Veritin's technical resources, we can address most of the major problems. Maybe even make this ni place nice again. I'll be engineering and engineering if you want to know more. Lady Irano said she wanted us to get stronger. With these mech facilities, we finally have the resources to do that. Bring me scrapped mechs from mission missions and shops, and I'll rebuild them in into fighting machines. And remember, boss, when it comes to mechs, bigger is usually better. The Jaeger Mech S model is highly specialized at long-range autocannon fire support. It doesn't have much in the way of protection or closer range weapons, though, so keep it at a distance and out of harm's way. Genergies run hot and they run fast, but can quickly bound into combat to deliver a knockout punch, even against heavier units. The capacity with speed and weaponry tends to come at the expense of lower armor, however. Cool! Well, we've got all kinds of things to do. Um... We got a new mech that we need to put into storage, I guess, so we're gonna send the Jenner... The other Jenner that we picked up into storage. I might scrap it, but we don't need the money right now, so send to storage. Oh, I think we sent it both of them to storage. And there's our new ship! And there's a lot more to play with here. But we're going to go over that next episode. I feel like maybe now like that now it's kind of opening up even more. So look how much money we have, man. It's crazy. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. Hitting the like button. Your support means the world to me. And as always, I'll see all of you next time. Bye-bye.